know, I know, I know. It's been like four months. That's how like since I like posted, but your girl is back. Again, y'all put the notifications bell on because your girl will be posting. Okay, so please be on the lookout. Okay, but we're going to be getting a collective reading message for y'all today. So yeah, let's just get started. What is going on in my collective spirit? Connect me to their energy in three, two, one. Connect me to their energy. What's going on for my collective? We have the three of pentacles. What else? Somebody's wanting to come through. Come through. Come through. Lil Shardy, come through. Okay, I'm hearing Jacquees come through, that song. I don't know if you guys ever heard that, but it's kind of like a throwback i want to say oh the hermit card somebody is really wanting okay damn somebody watching you heavily like like he need to be whoever watching you need to be getting paid for this shit because i'm telling or they need to be paying you because this person is watching you so heavily we got the hermit card with the page of swords like god damn like oh god this person is stuck on you i'm stuck on you girl <laughs> One, one, one. As I'm saying that, because it's giving me Bryson Tiller. Slept on you. But it's, it's, what I said, what I heard was slept on, I mean, stuck on you. Not slept on you. That's the song, slept on you. But I'm hearing stuck on you, okay? This person is stuck. Literally, look at this. Two of fucking swords with the ten of swords and the hangman. This motherfucker not going nowhere. That's what I want to say. I'm telling you right now, oh my God. What about this ten of swords, though? This, oh God. This person, some of y'all, this motherfucker possibly betrayed you with a third party. And this person is the one who's in remorse. The one that's sad. I feel like you're not sad. Like, I truly, I feel like you're manifesting everything that you want. And this is the person that's sad, that's stuck on you. So, I feel like that could be this person's karma to be going through this right here. And for you not to really give a fuck. Because I feel like you don't, okay? Like, I really feel like you're just living your best life. Living like, wait, hold on. Living uh, like it's golden. Or something. See, I'm hearing so many songs. I don't know why. Damn. And this person is scared too, y'all. Because I feel like some of y'all, I don't know if you're going to reconcile with this person. Because look, they're going to try to offer you something. But it's like, you're going to be looking at this person like, it's a no. Get that shit out of here. Okay? Like, that's what I'm getting. Because with the Page of Cups, you possibly already know that this person ain't got shit to offer you. Or this is also telling me this is somebody who wants to apologize. But... They possibly try to betray you. You know what? It's, you know what it's giving me? It's really giving me. This is somebody who possibly tried to betray you with a third party because they thought that you were going to be feeling some type of way. You were going to be sad. You're going to be crying. And I feel like you did the total opposite. You're good, okay? And I feel like this is the person that is watching you. Look, this person is like in their head. That's why their head is down. Let me let it focus. There we go. Because it's almost like, damn, this is somebody who can't get over you. And they thought that you weren't going to get over them. So you see how the tables turn? I need a, uh, yeah, ooh, the tables turn on this person. Because I feel like this is somebody who is possibly like, who actually wants to have something with you. But instead, they try to make it seem like they're not into you. Or they're not interested, but they 100% are. Because if they weren't, why would they be watching you this heavily if they weren't? If you're not into me, why are you watching me all, all the time? I thought you didn't like me. You know, like, that's what I'm getting. I don't know why I'm acting like this, but this could be your energy. But truly, I feel as if collective, you don't care. Okay, like, I'm telling you right now, you're looking good. You're doing you. Again, you're celebrating even with this three of cups. You're manifesting your dreams. You're manifesting your goals. And I feel like that shit is coming true. Okay, and with this other person, they just stuck on you. They is. Okay, also, I want to say this person is finally... I feel like this uh, this could have been someone who was very stubborn or hard-headed. They didn't want to listen to nobody but themselves, okay? that This person could have been very selfish. And it's like, bro, I I can't help you, you know? And I feel like you could have, like, tried... I feel like you walked away. That's why you're not even trying to, like, give this person any of your energy because of what this person possibly did, okay? I am getting that. But again, the tables have turned. This person can't leave you alone. And that's this person's karma, I want to say. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. So let's see. Clarify this four of cups. He's, this person's scared as hell that they're going to get rejected. But then again, see, look, you may already put an ending to this situation, okay? But this person, like, bro, no, unblock me now, okay? This is somebody who don't want it to end. Four, four, four. That's what I just seen. So I don't know what's going to happen. Because maybe you ended it, but in this person's mind, they're like, no, we're not done. Ain't no way we done. That's why this person is trying to give you this. 
I don't know. That's why I said this person is hard headed. Because it's like, bro, this is somebody who won't take no for an answer no matter what. Okay? I don't know if it's because this person feels as if they're supposed to be with you or what. Like, this person is like, no, the collective, they, they, their, their minds, you know? Like, not in a possessive way, but it's almost like, wait, I know you're my person, so I'm not letting you go now. Even though they fucked up, I want to say, like, I don't know, this person got a weird mindset, okay? That's why you're looking at this person like, yeah, okay, we gonna get, a, we gonna, we gonna come together, yeah, okay. Like, that's what I'm getting. Then we have the Ten of Cups with the Knight of Wands. Clarify this Knight of Wands. We don't, we ain't doing none of this. Oh God. Okay. So this person, this is what this person did. Yep. Some of y'all, this person could have been married or in a relationship, possibly with a water sign. Here they go. Here's this duo. Look, the cycle's over. I feel like this person was possibly, I'm not going to lie. Cause I noticed that with my readings, I'm not sugarcoating anything. So if you don't like what I have to say, then you're just going to have to get off of my channel because I'm not about to just be saying sh certain shit to make people feel good. No, if the cards are coming out, I need to say it. I'm not about to just be holding back because I don't want to hurt you guys' feelings. Cause this is what it's giving me. It's giving me that somebody possibly left you for somebody else, possibly someone from their past, somebody that they have a family with, with the Ten of Cups, but it was really just sex. That's what I'm getting. But that situation is over with the wheel of fortune okay also this person's karma could possibly be for them to lose you completely okay i'm getting that but this person is not again they're not taking no for an answer that's what i'm getting because with this eight of pinnacles they're going yeah see i told you this is your person that's why they're like no i don't give a fuck if she refused this offer she's my person i don't know who the fuck this person is but that's how they think i don't know why like it's giving me this person is overly positive even when they fucked up like i don't know how to even explain it okay but i'm telling you right now this is somebody who's going to work on this connection with you and them okay no matter what I feel like this person had to go through this or y'all both had to go through this situation because this person really, it's like you were hiding in plain sight and this person, they didn't know who you were until you finally walked away and said, bye bye. Okay. That's what I'm getting because they were sneaking around possibly with a water sign. Okay. And that's why this wheel of fortune is here because you're like, bro, I'm done with you. I don't want you anymore. And I feel like you really get, you really got the step in and you haven't looked back since. And that's why this person keep watching you so heavily because they thought that you were going to be feeling some type of way. You know, that's what I'm getting. And I, I feel as if you're not, what, how am I supposed to feel? Am I supposed to be crying? Am I supposed to be sad? Like, that's what you're asking because I feel like you're not feeling like that. If anything, you're just bossing the fuck up. And that's what you need to be doing. If you're not doing that, y'all need to do that, okay? Because this person, it's almost like they're trying to prove a point. Like, yeah, I got her and her feelings. No, you didn't. No, you don't, okay? Like, that's what I'm getting as well. What else? But they are trying to work with some... They are trying to work on something with you. It's just that it's going to be hard as fuck. But again, it's like this... Even if you do reject this person with the four cups, they're just going to keep coming back with something else. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I'm telling you, this is somebody, they don't care what you have to say. Well, I don't want to say that. It's like, they don't care that you say no. Like, oh, okay, I'm just going to come back and give you something else. And this person's not going to stop. That's what I'm getting as well. Not going to lie to you. I'm going to go in. Um, this Knight of Wands is speaking to me. Yes, you look, four of wands king of wands see somebody okay something about sex i know i can't go too much in but i'm gonna try to without getting flagged okay but um in a way this knight of wands right could have been a sagittarius i don't know we have a lot of signs out here virg like we have too many okay like water air earth we don't have any actually you know what's crazy the only fire we have is the knight of wands funny but everything else is emotions and thoughts because we have um the swords we literally just have earth swords and water this is the only fire the only one so i feel like this person could have possibly you know what i'm getting i feel like with this knight of wands whoever this person's ex is or whoever they went back to they're kind of like a succubus energy okay if y'all know what that is it's really just like a sex demon i had one of those okay my karmic was definitely an uh, incubus and i'm not gonna lie when you get reeled into that you may think to yourself oh my god the sex is so good because i'm telling you right now it was so hard for me to leave my karmic because i was attached to him sexually you know like i'm telling you right now i used to fuck this man like every day 
every day okay like it was never i never like said no i don't want to i'm always down you know i was always down and i feel like that was a lesson for me because my freaky ass need to sit the fuck down you know like that's what i'm getting but with my karmic it was so hard because again he was a he was an incubus a male version is an incubus a succubus is the women okay but i feel like this person was dealing with a succubus energy right so this person could have thought oh my god the sex is so good i know we have something more because i'm telling you right now yep confirmation okay i'm telling you right now when i was with my karmic that's literally how i felt i'm like no this is definitely the person i'm supposed to be with and it's because i was attached to him so like sexually literally like i was fucking this man every day so it's like you it's like a certain type of i don't even know how to it's like a certain type of mindset that you get it's like no yes confirmation it's like i i have to be with this person and it's because of magic that is magic you know like you're fucking a demon basically a sex demon that's what it is and i feel like that's what this person was dealing with but something switched okay 1055 something switched in this person they're like hold on what is going on you know like i don't know if spirit enlightened with the hermit card I feel as if once you disconnected from this person, that's when shit hit them. 100%. That's when this person was enlightened. That's why they can't stop watching you because I feel like whatever spirit God told this person, it, it, it's, it's almost giving me, it scared the hell out of him. Okay, like that's what I'm getting. I don't know what it could have been. It could have just been this person finally seeing this Queen of Cups for who they really are, a succubus, right? And trust me, once I, whoo, y'all. I don't think I ever told anybody this. Actually, you know what's crazy? On my other channel, like a, a channel that I used to do like clothing hauls and shit on, I actually told my karmic story, okay, um, on that channel. What the heck? Oh, okay, anyways. Um, oh, what I was what I was trying to say was um when I uh I posted my karmic situation, like I what what was the title? The title was like I fell in love with a, like a narcissist or something. Oh, I ran away or something like that. I don't remember what it was. It was a nice ass title though. Oh, how I escaped a narcissist lover. That's my title. That was the title, but that video was deleted. I wish I would have kept it though because I would have shared. I would have shared it with y'all because it was very informative. But I'm telling you right now, bro. I remember actually like fucking him and seeing something that I have never seen in my whole entire life. I'm like, bro, how how are my eyes seeing this? You know, like I was like, bro, it was literally me like looking into his eyes and I seen nothing but a snake. Nothing. You know, it's almost like I didn't even see his body. I just seen a snake. And that was my confirmation of this motherfucker is evil. Get away from him. Okay. And literally, and that was me actually fucking him. Literally, as I'm doing it, I'm looking at his eyes and I'm seeing that. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? You know, and I was not drunk or anything. I just remember like it just being like a random, like in the middle of the day or some shit. So I'm like, bro, I know I'm seeing this for a reason. And I feel like that's what happened to this person. Maybe this person was, yeah, confirmation. Maybe this person was having sex with them and they seen something and they got scared. Like this person ran confirmation yet again. <laughs> like what i don't even know how to explain this reading why am i even getting these messages like for real i'm hot too but for real this person seen some things that really like changed everything that's why i said this motherfucking connection is done with the wheel of fortune between the two of them is done it's a wrap because i don't know whatever enlightenment this person got they're like oh i gotta go and I'm not coming back. That's why they're trying so hard to work on this connection with you. Because you are their divine counterpart. I just feel like you were hidden in plain sight. That's what I'm getting. Okay? And I feel like it was like that for a reason. Because this person has to go through that. If not, then they would have kept doing what they were doing. And Spirit is like, okay, we're going to put the collective in your life. And we're going to show you who they really are. You're not going to see it right away. But you're going to see it when you need to see it. And I feel like that's what happened. And this motherfucker right here, I don't know. I just feel like whoever this person is could be a King of Cups, a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, or a Virgo. Okay, Or they can have that in their chart. That's what I'm getting. Possibly Cancer too. Okay, there's a lot of different Zodiac signs out here. So obviously it can honestly be any anybody. But yeah, that's just what I'm getting. What else, Spirit? What else? Let me fix these because these cards are like all over. But yeah, with this four of wands being here, this person is trying to work on this partnership with you. 100%. This person just said, I love you. I just heard it like that too. Okay, so maybe this is somebody who hasn't expressed their feelings, but I feel like they couldn't. When you're dealing with a succubus and an incubus spirit, you 
see crazy shit you're so blinded you're so like your mind is so clouded until spirit is like bro you being too stubborn we about to just show you because you're not listening i feel like that's what happened i told you this person is hard-headed right so spirit is like okay this person's hard-headed we're gonna have to show them the hard way and i feel like that's what happened and now this person is like uh-uh i don't, I don't want to deal with that person no more confirmation bro yet again like what the fuck so yeah i just feel as if like this person is really trying to do right this time because again they could have fucked up they could have possibly already broke your heart and i feel like they you know what they say it's like okay this person broke your heart but in reality i don't even think that i think they broke their own heart that's what i'm getting with this ten of swords that's why they're so stuck on you okay because i feel like you're doing you and this person is like you know trying to figure out a master plan to get you back that's what i'm getting i don't know what else to say okay and i don't know why my phone keep blowing up huh okay anyways what else i feel like it's your love though something about your love is what really uh helped this person to i want to say awaken even if you were giving this person tough love because i know for me i ain't saying shit i'm just gonna let you do you and if you fuck up that's on you okay like me talking too much and shit like that has gotten me nowhere but my silence is deadly so when i hit you with the silent treatment just know that you're gonna get enlightened okay i ain't gotta do nothing so i feel like that's what you guys have to do don't feed into this person's energy again they're gonna come to you because look i'm telling you with the higher fit being here they're gonna get enlightened by god you don't gotta do it look i told you you were impressed you're the only person who can help this like i want to say you are uh the only one to really help this person look now they want to give you an offer i cannot make this shit up bro look they're stuck though they're sad they're hurt because they're like oh my god i literally broke the person that i'm meant to be with i broke their heart but i truly believe like that's what they think but i feel like they didn't break you it made you that's the difference it did not break you it made you into the person that you are why do you think you're in this energy you cannot be broken. An empress cannot be broken. She's made. Okay? So, that's what I'm getting. I feel like you are self-made. No matter what. If people try to, like, do dirty shit to you. And you know what's crazy, too? I'm going to use this as an example. My karmic, he used to always try to get me jealous with other people. And I'm like, bro, you're the insecure one. I'm not insecure. What the fuck is there to be insecure about? You could have all those bitches and they still wouldn't add up to me. They won't okay so that's kind of how you how you have to like i want to say be you know like there is no reason for y'all to be insecure at all when people do that when they try to intentionally try to piss you off and get you jealous they're the insecure ones not you it's them so don't feed into it literally don't because it's not if then it's like you giving away your power and your imprints you don't got time to be doing that and i feel like you didn't that's why i said this person they broke their own heart because they couldn't break you confirm it i'm done 1755 i'm done confirmation yet again okay is there anything else i need to say because i'm telling you right now all of these confirmations are so significant now this person is trying to give you a long-term connect uh commitment because again i feel like they were always back and forth back and forth but then again i want to say not everything is on spell work because again it's like you do have a choice you do have free will so if you go back to an ex that's on you right but i do feel as if i'm telling you this person was fucking with a succubus energy okay they will get your ass trust me i was in one of those okay not a succubus an incubus and man they know how to reel you in especially if you're like i don't want to say fueled by sex but like if you have a high sex drive they can get you real good that's why my ass is in time out because i'm like uh-uh i ain't finna mess with nobody like that no more i'm good okay and i know like and again you're the empress i think this person you know what's crazy too i am gonna say something i feel like after they figured out this wisdom whatever type of um knowledge that spirit gave them it's like they looked at this person differently they looked at this queen of wands differently okay i said queen of wands what the fuck i meant to say queen of cups see you see how i do that so i don't know this person again they knew how to use their body to get what they want they could have been very beautiful or lusty you know so it's like oh i'm just gonna show my body off to this person and they're gonna come to me and i feel like that's what this person did but it was a trap and now since this person knows that i just feel like they're saying like nah your sex ain't hidden something about your sex though empress or emperor your sex is bomb like i don't know what it is i don't know what you have okay you can have that wet wet but something about you it's like bro i i gotta put a baby in her that's what this person is saying i need to put a baby in her 
because you can't be walking around here looking sexy all that and you single ain't no way like this person may even think that you're fucking somebody else confirmation bro what this person think that you're fucking somebody else that's what he just said your person i don't know are you shit if you are you ain't saying shit okay <laughs> with the zippers like you keep that shit on the down low okay but uh yeah this per that's why they possibly want to put a baby in you because it's like uh-uh i cannot lose her to nobody okay i just feel as if this person had a huge lesson that they had to learn and it had to do with this queen of cups okay so they could have possibly been a queen of wands because i did not mean to say that at all but i truly believe that this person is not stopping for shit they're not okay that's what i'm getting like this person is literally going to do everything that they can to give you this that's what i'm getting okay a full-on relationship and this ain't no oh let's just be fuck buddies no this is a connection this is marriage this is long term and again it's like bro this person know that no one can compare to you you are the empress like what like there is nobody better than you that's why i said that earlier bro like you can have a million bitches they're still not gonna add up to me though <laughs> okay so i feel like that's how you think and that's why this person like damn like what the fuck like did i really just try to put her in competition with somebody who can't like these could even be people who are trying to be you that's the crazy part too that's why i say you don't have to compete you're the empress what are you trying to compete for you don't have to you literally are that bitch, okay? And now this person, I feel like that's just a lesson that they gotta learn. But then again, I don't know. That's why I said with the three of pentacles, is it gonna be reconciliation? I don't know. It's gonna be up to y'all, but I'm telling you right now, that's why I said that earlier, this person is not taking no for an answer. It's like, okay, you, you told me no this time. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna work on myself and then I'm gonna come back with something else. And they're gonna keep doing that. I don't know. I don't know who this is, but it's, it's looking like your counterpart, okay? So I don't know. This shit is funny. But yeah. Um, anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Let me go in with... Um, oh, whoo! I thought my deck was about to fall in fire. Okay. Let me go in. Oh, Y'all, I'm hot. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let me go in with this deck. Okay, the yin and yang. And then we're done. So what are some messages from the Oracle deck spirit? What are some messages for my collective? <laughs> so I'm hearing something in my head. Okay, so this person real Okay, this person will come in with the offer, but in your head you're saying try again, motherfucker. Try again. And this person they leave, they come back, you're like try again. Like I need something better. Like I don't know why I'm getting that. We have the moon cards, so intuition, emotions. Yeah, this person they in their emotions about you. That's why I said they stuck on you. They slept on you, they stuck on you and they in their feelings, Drake. It's giving me Drake, okay? You know that Take Care album? That's possibly what this person is listening to, 100%. Not you, this person, okay? It's funny because I thought this person, this person thought that you were gonna be in your feelings, you're not. You are 100% fine. Like, I, I just see you looking on your body like, I'm good, you know? Like, I don't know, y'all are funny, what else? We have Mars, Woo! this is some passion hold on this person oh yeah hold on bro i got a message okay so with this mars card this is all about lust passion attraction Woo! this person is burning for you okay like they are like their insides they're like i need the collective i need the collective that's why this person is not into this queen of cups anymore and it says disharmony bro conflict and shit they, that's what's going on with them the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, they, they have some sort of conflict together. This person ain't feeling them no more. That's why I said, what type of poom poom do you have? The poom poom got some powers, okay? Because I'm telling you right now, this person is tripping over you and they're tripping over your sex. Because I feel as if, I don't know, you got that wet shit and this person is like, they don't know what to do. That's why they're like, uh-uh, I hope and pray she not with somebody else. That's what this person keeps thinking about. But the crazy part about it is this person was with somebody. So it's like, bro, you over here have a double standards. So what's going on? That's why I said you don't care. Because this person is like, how are you going to be possessive when you with somebody? That don't make no sense. 
okay that's possibly why this person's ending it because maybe you're just doing you and they're like uh uh she too silent she not coming towards me what's going on is she with somebody else you know i feel like that's why this person is so eager to drop this motherfucker off and then again they did get enlightened about the situation and they know they're like oh i'm not messing with the situation no more because it's almost like spirit warned this person like bro if you do this one more time you're done i i don't know why i'm getting that so I think there was a huge warning sign from spirit, God. He's like, bro, if you do this one more time, you're done. And I think it's scared. This person could have possibly had a near death experience. I'm getting that. That's possibly what happened. Because this person was not learning. This person was hurting the person that they're supposed to be with. You're not allowed to do that. And spirit is like, okay, you, you try her one more time. You're done, bro. I don't know. It scared the fuck out of this person. So for some of y'all, this person had a near death experience because of that. Okay. And spirit is like, this is your last warning. We're not fucking playing with you. Okay. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Y'all are protected. I'm scared. Okay. Like this person, needs, I think this person's scared of you, but it's like, they don't need to be. It's just like, bro, you should never fuck with them. Don't fuck with the collective if you know, I don't know, man. It's just crazy. Like, I, I don't think I ever got a reading like this before. Okay, but I don't know. I feel like this person is like, you know what? I'm done playing. I feel like it was a near-death experience or something happened to them. To the point where they're like, bro, I'll never. You know, like, I'm cool. I'm not about to be putting her in competition with nobody or something. Because I'm telling you right now, Spirit was like, bro, one last try. One last try and you're done. And I think this person, they got so scared from that. They're like, bro, no, I want my life, you know? Like, uh -uh, I ain't ready to go yet. So I don't know, something was a huge, when I say huge, huge wake up call for this person. And that is exactly what they needed, okay? That's all I'm getting for your reading. I hope you enjoy the messages that came through. Please like, comment down below how you felt about this reading. Let me know if it resonated. I don't even know. Okay, I was just going in. Press record and boom, here's the reading. Okay, but yeah. If not, um, I will see you guys next time. Peace.